Hello everyone, my name is Isaac, and welcome to Isaac's Nature Channel and Entomology. So here I've got plenty of Luna moths, uh, seven in total, three females and four males. And as you probably read on the title, I'm going to talk about the difference between wild Luna moths and raised Luna moths. Alright, so up here I have two males. And can you guess which one is wild and which one is raised? I'll give you a couple of seconds. Alright, so if you guessed that this one is wild and this one is raised, you are correct. If you guessed the opposite, I'm sorry you're wrong. I understand that you might think that this one is raised because it's bigger and healthier and probably had a richer, more controlled diet. Um, but in fact, the smaller one is the one who got raised. So, these I got as cocoons. I didn't raise them for the caterpillars, so I don't really know their diet. Uh, these are, have been outside. I've caught them outside. Uh, you can see on my channel I got a previous video, which was when I actually caught them. So the first thing you can see, obviously, is size. This one has a much larger wingspan than this one. And as you can see, this one is also wild. They appear to be much greener and more full in color. As you can see here on the edge, you can see there's a little bit of reddish brown and yellow, orange. Much greener, bigger eye spots. And this one is just a little bit of yellow. You know, much smaller, much skinnier. These ones were well fed, clearly. Now there are a little detail that I found. I'm just going to do this real quick. Alright, so... This one actually has some pink lines on either side of the th of the the abdomen, so that's just a little detail I found. I don't know if it has anything to do with the diet. It might be different kind of trees, more exotic trees. But if I remember well, this one lacks those lines. You can't really see well because of fat deposits. When they die, um, and there's still lots of fat, it dissolves when they, of course. Uh, as they rot and all of the fat deposits goes there. You can treat that with acetone. Uh, it's really easy to just dip in acetone. Since it's a uh, high potent, it's gonna dry quickly, so you can just leave it there and it's gonna get rid of it. And I'm gonna see if this male has it. This one was also raised. You can see. So so far the ones that are wild are much larger and the ones that are raised much smaller. Ones that are, more, uh, that are wild are much greener, have much more colors, as the one that are raised much smaller, less colors, more yellowish, more bland really. Anyway, you can also see in the wing shape. You can see this one is more rounded and this one is pointier. I don't know if it's because of the difference in color or because they were wild. And also, uh, a thing that's really hard to argue with is that these here are from Quebec, and these were found in New Brunswick, both in Canada. Maybe it's just a difference of region that could also determine their size and morphology in general. Um, but these two were found in the exact same location in New Brunswick. As you saw, this one had pink lines, and you can see this one uh, lacks those pink lines. I don't know if she wants to focus. This camera is a little bit stubborn, but uh, I can tell you, you can trust me, it does not have any pink lines. My theory on why they look so different is because of their diet. Um, I got from a moth raiser. He sells uh, Luna Moth Pupae, $8 each. I'll put a link in the description if you want to go on his website. He sells them. Anyway, so my theory is that he feeds these uh, the caterpillars different foods than these fed on. Clearly, these were in the same region, found the same time, and they have uh, different characteristics. So yeah, you can comment what your theory is. I think it's just based on diet, on region. Uh, it might not be because they're raised and, or because they're wild. It might be because they're wild, that they're healthier, um, much more radiant. 
But yeah, that's all I wanted to show you. So, uh, just a little thing that I realized while I was catching Luna Moss. Anyway, I will see you next time. Be sure to like the videos that you like. And be sure to comment what your theory is in the comment section down below. If you like this content, uh, you can also subscribe. I've got lots of videos and lots of more videos coming. Anyway, that's all I had to show you, and I will see you next time.